Is that like the coolest riff ever? That is just such a hopping riff. I just love that groove to it. Phil C here in Middle Tennessee. Very hot day today, about 90 degrees with 90% humidity, so it's a good day to be inside playing the guitar next to my faithful trusty dog who's eating a bone. So uh, anyway, just uh, ignore the dog behind the curtain. Uh, again, Phil C here. That song is Train Train by Blackfoot. Uh, if you're thinking about doing it in a cover band, wise choice. Uh, audience love it. It's a fun song to play by the band. It's got some excellent slide guitar playing in it. Uh, if you're like me, I don't get an opportunity to play slide very much. So frankly, uh, I kind of suck at it. <laughs> so this song gives me an opportunity to work on my slide playing. So bear with me with some of those passages. I'll take some liberties also. Uh, when we run through the track, I'll mimic the, uh, the harmonica solos on the guitar. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my Facebook, please do so. Uh, actually, my YouTube, rather. Uh, just hit that little subscribe button. I appreciate it. So let's run through this track, and then we'll break it down. All right, guys, let's break down the song. I fell behind the rhythm a little bit on that last part. You're going to start off with a E chord. Use your finger uh, like you're playing an A chord. Um, so on that E, it's what they call an E5, so there's not going to be any thirds or flats. You're going to just focus in on your bottom three strings, E, A, D. Uh, again, since it's an E5, it doesn't have any thirds in it. So you're going to hit that once. Then you're going to do a downstroke, single note downstroke on the open E. 
Then you're going to do an upstroke, kind of like a gallop. And then you're going to go to the third fret, E string. You're going to pull that string sharp a little bit. Okay? And then you're going to pull it off. Okay? So you got that open string ring in, but you're still going to hit it again. You're going to hit it once, then you're going to do an upstroke on the E string. Now when you do that upstroke, not on the E string, but E chord, when you do that upstroke, very important that you do that upstroke, because you can do a downstroke on that E, but you get that certain mean effect by doing that upstroke, and you're just going to focus in on the A string and on the D string second fret. Then you're going to stick with that A and that D uh, string. You're going to do an inverted G chord, which means you, when it's inverted, you're starting off with the fifth, not on the root. So it's going to be on the fifth fret, downstroke. Go down to half step to an F sharp. And that's the riff. Very cool riff. And I'm also noticing, too, that I am hitting an open E before I go to that G, and then um, before I go to that G, yeah. So again, let me just break that down real quick. E chord, uh, down stroke on a single E note, up stroke on a single E note, pull off, bend it sharp on the third, uh, fret, pull it off, strike the single note E again, upstroke on the E chord, second fret, just on the A and D string, back to an open E, hit the G on the A and D string, fifth fret, go down a half step, hit the F sharp, again just on the A and the D string, fourth fret okay that riff this riff it's only done once the subsequent riffs are different let's break this down it's gonna be mostly hammer-ons open E second fret 3rd fret, 4th fret. So you're going to strike the open E. From there you're going to do hammer-ons. From there you're going to go to the A string, 2nd fret, which is the B note. You're going to go back to an open E. To the 3rd fret, which is going to be a hammer-on. And then to the 4th fret, hammer on, open E chord, you're going to stick it, which means you're going to go staccato, cut it off real quick, resolve on the A chord, and sustain it. And then, of course, if you got gain, it helps out, obviously. Okay, that part right there, I'm kind of mimicking the harmonica. Uh, there's, uh, and I also cut out early so that I can get to the next riff. And uh, what I'm just doing there is, is uh, on the B string, hitting 10th fret, bend it up full step. Not hitting any, uh, do, not doing any vibrato on it, you know, I'm just... Also trying to get a little bit of tone out of my right hand. Okay. And then I'm just pulling off. I'm not striking the note again. I'm just pulling off. And then I'm bending up on that 8th fret uh, B string. And I just, I just keep moving the string. I just keep moving. What's what they call moving the note. I just keep moving the note until I cut it off. Okay. Um, and then the second time I'll actually hold the vibrato. I'll actually put some vibrato in it. Because there's all kinds of cool vibrato. You know, there's a slow 
uh, vibrato, you know. Which I'm doing on this song. There's upside down vibrato. Um, there's a fast vibrato. Randy Rhodes was just awesome at fast forward. I loved his vibrato. It's just wicked. Just woo. Um, so uh, after I do that one riff. Okay, so that's the riff that you'll be doing for the rest of the song. That's an open E. Third fret on the E string, hammer it on. Fourth fret, hammer it on. Then you're gonna drop your finger down on the fourth fret from the E. You're gonna drop it down to the A string, fourth fret. You're gonna pull it off um, to the second fret on the A string. Then you're gonna go back to the E, third fret. Then you're gonna do a, you're gonna strike that note, obviously. And then you're going to do a pull, a uh, hammer on to the fourth fret. And then you're gonna do an E chord, stick it real quick, staccato. Resolve on the A and sustain it. So, it's gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna let you know I cheat on that. It's kind of a fast passage. You want to get it through smoothly. I just can do it more smoothly if I do a hammer on pull off. So as opposed to my finger dropping down from the E string, fourth fret, to the A uh, string, fourth fret, and pulling off, I'll actually just start on the B and do a hammer on pull off. And it just, you know, it's, I'm cheating, but you know, it's rock and roll. That's what we do, right? <laughs> we cheat. Hmm. So it's uh, it's it, it's a real quick passage, uh, something that you might want to just you know if you if you need to practice it or something like that, you know I'm a news junkie so I'll go watch the news, and practice riff that I'm having a difficult time with. I mean it's better than just being in here for a half hour and after a while you feel like just jumping out the window and landing on your forehead on the driveway. So don't do that. You keep your mind occupied with something else while you you know you're getting your motor. Uh, functions down on that particular riff. So what I'll what I'll do is I, I'll do the All right, the next progression after that it goes obviously back into the uh, the main riff and then it goes into a D I do an inverted D, which means that you start off with the fifth as opposed to the root. So in this particular situation, I'm actually starting off on the A string when I hit that D. I'm not getting the third in there. We're pretty much just sticking with a, a D5 inverted. Then to an A chord. Uh, and to uh, third fret. E string to a D. I mean to an E rather. You notice that I pull that uh, a little bit uh, sharp. That uh, that G, it's pull a little bit sharp. You know, just it's all about tweaking that. Excuse me, I got a little bit of indigestion. <laughs> Great to get it on the recording. I was also dealing with the cold. It's like, and it's summer. It's hot out there, and I got a cold. What's up with that? Um, so, uh, the next part is going to come to a B, then to a D. <coughs> so, in essence, you're going to do your A style bar chord. B is going to obviously start you on your root, which is going to be your uh, second fret on the A string. And then you're just going to bar across to the fourth fret on the uh, D and G string. Now, what I do on this progression goes back to the A, so it's a B, D, A progression. I just pretend to be a slide because I, you know, I, you can tell in the studio you're just using a slide for that. And in the recording, you saw that I used a little bit of a slide, so I just pretend to be the human slide. I'll just focus in on just two notes, do an inverted uh, B chord. So I'll just play the D. Down a stroke and the G string on the fourth fret. 
And then for some reason in my head, I just hear that a, hit that A on the 14th fret as opposed to going down to you know the first position. So I just go with that, kind of make my own little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, I almost forgot this last riff. It's a really cool riff, so I'm glad I didn't forget. I'm going to edit it in. It goes like this. What you do is you start on the A string, 2nd fret. Hammer on to the 4th fret. Over to the D string, 2nd fret. 4th fret. Bend it a half step up to a G. Release it back down to par on the 4th fret, down to the 2nd fret, over to the A string 4th fret, 2nd fret, hammer on and pull off 2nd to 4th to 2nd, to the E string, 3rd fret, pull it sharp, release on the E. Notice how I hit all those notes on the D string. Very cool riff. I'm glad I didn't forget it. Okay, so that's it for the song. Um, I'll probably do some subsequent um, videos on the solo and uh, and break that down. It's generally in G. It goes into D sometimes. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Blessings to you.